the 2017 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select Takaris McKinley, linebacker, UCLA. Well, there you see the picture of his grandmother, Tack McKinley. The story is incredible. His father was never in the picture. His mother left the family when he was five. On her deathbed, he made a promise to his grandmother that he would make it to D1 football, and now he's made it into the first round. John, you just alluded to a defensive head coach in Dan Quinn. They like to win out, and now they've got Tack McKinley, another guy, a pass rusher out of UCLA that can go attack that quarterback. I think when you look at Tack McKinley, can he stay at full strength? He had the court labor, he had some concussion problems as well. Durability was an issue with Tack McKinley in terms of the NFL moving forward. Teams were concerned about that. If you look at his performance this year, he was way up on the big board all year. Talk about coming together at the right time. He registered 18 tackles for loss, 10 of those were sacks. Previous two seasons, he had 11 tackles for loss and seven sacks combined. So he was a one-year standout at UCLA. Great motor, finds the football, quick diagnostic ability, active hands. When, I'll tell you, when he's at his best, he is a force getting after the quarterback, solid against the run. I like the way he stays on his feet as well. He even lined up an inside linebacker in one game I saw against Arizona State. So here's the kid, has some versatility, pass rusher supreme. Think about Quinn in Seattle, that, that took about that NASCAR pass rush. He actually made the trade with Seattle to get to this point, to get Tack McKinley. What they want is more pass rushers to complement Vic Beasley, who really came into his own this year after a disappointing rookie year out of Clemson. Beasley was unblockable at times. They want somebody to complement him. And Tack McKinley, if he can stray at full strength and the injuries won't be an issue, McKinley is a pass rusher. Yeah, he fits the profile of the player that they want. They want guys who have speed coming off the edge, who can really get around that edge and just pressure the quarterback. Look, Vic Beasley last year, he accounted for an inordinate amount of the pass rush production on that football team. I mean, he has 15 and a half sacks, and no other player had more than four and a half sacks. So Tack Let's provides go, that. Now, the problem is, the people that you talk to is, you know, is he going to be ready? Is he going to be ready for training camp? Is that shoulder going to be ready? Is he going to start the year on PUP? How much time is he going to miss in the offseason? So, although he fits the profile, that's one of the things that people are a little bit concerned about. I saw Garrett Bowles absolutely dominate this player, but he has a tremendous, you saw the highlight right there, a tremendous motor. He never quits. He won't quit. But there's some questions surrounding him. That's what happens when you start getting down here in this part of the draft. But they, they picked a player that fits exactly what they're looking for. Well, you talked about the Super Bowl. Yep. Losing that 28 to 3 lead. Need we want our pressure. Super Bowl. I, I really believe it's all about fourth quarter pass rush. You have to have bodies that can get after the passer when you know they're throwing it. They knew Brady was throwing it every single play. They ran out of gas, I think. And to get a guy like this who has great effort and the ability to rush the passer, that's a nice pick for the Falcons because they'll make a lot of noise in that dome when it's, the season starts. It is interesting to see how Dan Quinn is trying to assemble in Atlanta sort of what he had in Seattle when he was the defensive coordinator there. It is all attack, 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 attack. And now Tack McKinley will be part of that attack. It's an unbelievable story. We alluded to it a little bit. But you saw the emotion of him holding up his grandmother's picture, saying, I made a promise to you. I made a promise to you. This is who I'm doing it for. He did it for the woman that raised him, his grandmother, with both of his parents out of the picture in Richland, or Richmond, rather, California, one of the roughest areas in California. Tack McKinley joins Deion Jones all that speed that everybody had uh, on that defensive side and now they get another weapon for more on Tack McKinley and that story DXL takes us down to Susie Culver who's standing by with the newest happiest member of the Atlanta Falcons. Well, Tack doesn't just have the photo of his grandmother Myrtle Collins. He's got the tattoo right here on his arm. Tell everybody what she means to you Tack. Speechless. She means everything to me. Like I said, I, I probably wouldn't be here without her. And like I said, of course, I had a lot of support from my family, friends, teammates, coaches. But just to come this far, like where I come from, born in Oakland, raised in Richmond, California, a lot of people don't make it this far. A lot of people got talent, but they don't get the opportunity that I had. So I did this for my grandma. I did this for my family. I did this for my city. And I mean, it's only in the beginning, but I'm. I'm 
like Marshawn Lynch said, I'm thankful. <laughs> as a little kid, as a little kid, you were you were abandoned and you were homeless. What were the promises you made to your grandmother? So before she passed away, about two minutes before she passed away, I told her I was gonna get out of Richmond, I was gonna get out of Oakland, I was gonna go D1, and I was gonna make it to the NFL. About 30 seconds later, she closed her eyes and passed away. And that promise, it, it meant everything to me. Like I said, being a non-qualified out of high school, going to community college, I mean, I could have easily gave up. I could have easily went the street route, the gangs, the guns, the drugs, the kids, et cetera, et cetera. But no, I stuck with it, man. And like I said, I, I did it for her. I did it for her. You've had some father figures in your life and another one with the Atlanta Falcons. Jeff Ulbrich, he recruited you at yes, UCLA, and now he's a linebacker's coach for the Falcons. And I know he stood on the table to try to get them to draft you. What are you looking forward to there? Uh, hey, it's simple. Get to the quarterback. It's that simple. Get to the quarterback. Heart, relentless. Get to the quarterback. That's all that matter. That's all that matter. Dad, congratulations. Thank you made it, thank man. Thank you so much. Trey, back to you. Susie Tack, thanks. Interesting, he goes to the Falcons. His favorite player is Cam Newton. He once said, I don't think I could tackle Cam Newton. I'd let him score. 